Hi, I'm Cade, and this is going to be part one of a series that will go over the methods I use to create these 3D models. Uh, I create them using a technically older techniques, but I've worked them into a style that works for me. So this isn't, and we're going to put this out there now. You're not going to create every single style of 3D model using my workflow. It's going to produce something that looks very similar to my end result. If you like that though, my intention with this is to go through the whole workflow that I have in enough detail that somebody relatively fresh to 3D will be able to get a decent grip with and make their own sauna. So what's this series actually going to do? We're going to go over every single step from the beginning with the light camera cube in Blender to finishing a model, pausing it, rendering it, porting it to different games. This won't just be an art piece you're making, this is going to be a fully functioning model. You don't even need anything expensive to do this. The majority of my workflow takes place in Blender with a slight bit of it done in Photoshop, though of course this could be replaced by using any other graphic software. 3D is a mix of the artistic and the technical, especially using my flow where the technical aspects of 3D directly guide the end result. You'll be learning both side by side, and while I can offer a lot of guidance on the technical side of things, the artistic side will still be your own flair, your own spice to the model, so to speak. I'll want you not to follow along vertex by vertex, but rather show you the techniques behind my workflow and how to apply them to your own character and building one yourself. Now, if you've got wings or your typically non-humanoid design, I would recommend simplifying this to a fairly humanoid design at first. While the limits of 3D are technically boundless, it will be much easier to follow along with a more typical character and then branch out once you know the basics. With that out of the way, we'll go over the plans for this tutorial series. First, we're going to go through the absolute basics. If you've ever done a Blender tutorial, you'll probably be sick and tired of hearing them. You could probably skip this one. But this one is to treat you as if you know nothing at all about Blender. Getting into Blender, where you even get it from general navigation, and while, yeah, there are plenty of these tutorials out of there, I'm doing one so that we can all be on the same playing field, and that we all know that our Blender is set up the same way, so there's no confusion there. Next up will be modelling. Uh, I do not sculpt as a base. I use a much older technique called box modelling. This is using the manipulation of a model by moving, scaling, and rotating the vertexes on a model to create the shapes. We will learn about edge loops, extrusions, and topology in this section, and it will be a fair chunk of the tutorial. After that is UV mapping and texture painting. It sounds quite scary, but it isn't too bad once you can visualise what's happening. We will go through this in quite a lot of detail later. This will unwrap the model so that we can then paint on it. My technique utilises very simple methods to achieve appealing results, and you don't even need a tablet. I usually paint by mouse. We then have the rigging. The rigging is arguably one of the harder parts of the 3D process, but I'll do my best to guide you through it and explain what part of the rig is what and how best to skin the model so that it all flows quite nicely. Then there are the shape keys. These will be set up to express your emotions. They'll have some technical ones for your vismis and such for VR chat. Uh, and you can use them in, in quite a lot of ways. They're very useful, and they're actually quite simple to set up once you know how. Next, we'll get to rendering the model, which is where we'll make this model look super pretty, and where we'll be able to produce lovely images that you can show everyone what you have made. Then up, we'll be porting to VR chat. This tutorial will be quite a big, substantial one, going over everything I know about the process so far and how to get your model you've just made into VR chat. Once in, you can proudly say that you've not only got a custom model, but you've even made it yourself. And that provides the overview of what you should expect from this tutorial series, but do let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see, or if you have any problems, please don't be afraid to get in contact with me. With that, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and I hope you join us on along the rest of the way. And yes, I'm super looking forward to seeing what you all make. It's going to be super cool. Uh, but yeah, you all have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra!